Good morning. Happy New Year. I am Messi Bokpo. This is the news brief. The presiding bishop of the Redeem Evangelical Mission, Trem, Dr. Michael Konkor, has charged Nigerians not to vote based on ethnicity or religion, but on performance and credibility of candidates. Bishop Okonkwo, who gave this charge at the crossover service to usher in the year 2023, says he would rather vote an idol worshipper who has turned around the fortunes of the people. Justin Akadonye tells more in this report. As with tradition, Christian faithful converge on churches to bid farewell to the previous year with high expectations for the new one. The case is not different here at the headquarters of the redeemed evangelical mission, TREM. With hearts of praise and dancing, the congregation worships to the sonorous ministration of the choir. After a time out of relief and miracles enjoyed in the outgun year, it is time for prayers. Bishop Michael Konko admonishes his followers to see Jesus Christ as their reward, as he will automatically grant all to them. The countdown to the new year begins, and as the clock chimes to midnight, the atmosphere is charged with good wishes and dancing amid celebration. Eventually, there is a declaration of prophecy for Nigerians. In the wake of the new year, the state of the nation, including the general elections, takes center stage. Wilderness, we are about to come out of it. Not as if we have, we have, we have been in wilderness all, all the years. I would say that we are proud to get out of the wilderness. So we should really, the, the, the light is already showing up from the tunnel. That's where we are now. As Bishop Michael Konkori echoes hope for Nigeria in 2023, he advises the electorate not to allow themselves to be exploited. Don't let anyone use you. You have a bright future. So if you decide to become a thug for somebody, you may lose your life. This, this election, to some people, it is a, it is a, it is a, it is a, it is a real life issue that you cannot. Uh, they don't want to take it for granted. The Christians cannot hold back to joy to witness the new year. It is greeted with high expectations. Like I'm switching jobs, so switching careers. You know, I'm expecting God to do something wonderful in my life for that. You know, I want uh, great health, you know, for myself and my family. Uh, for Nigeria, I, I can't stop praying for Nigeria. You know, we want a good leader. You know, we want people to vote for the right, uh, for the right leaders. This year is a very great year, and inside there, it was a powerful um, and, um, and inspiration, and the message was so very nice to move on with the year with. Year 2022 is a, is a wonderful year. Everybody know what we are, we are going through, but we thank God we made it to 2022. 23. Nigerians had to grapple with several challenges in the year 2022. However, they believe that by starting out 2023 with prayers for the nation, the tide will turn. Justin Akadono, Plus TV News Lagos. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.